Hi guys, today we're gonna to talk about the Sharpie requirement. So number three says, Sharpie the lines to create contrast with color. So we're gonna to go to my document camera and I'm gonna give you a little helpful hint. So first of all, because we had to create so much graphite um, on this project to be able to transfer it, that is actually tough when you go to Sharpie. So my suggestion to you would be to take a big eraser and lighten up all of your lines. And I'm saying this is because if you try to put Sharpie over some of it, not all of it, but some of it, the Sharpie is not going to want to stick to the paper, especially if you're using the extra fine Sharpie. I highly suggest that you use a fine point Sharpie so that you get um, a nice contrast. So the fine point Sharpie is this one with the regular tip. Okay, then I'm going to need to use my tools like a ruler, a protractor, a compass, whatever you have to trace the lines that I already have. Now, these circles, this um, Sharpie does not fit in the compass, so I'm going to have to freehand that to the best of my ability. I can turn it. Remember, you cannot let a Sharpie just stick on the paper because it makes a dot. So this isn't awful. It could be better, but it isn't awful. If you have a cap um, or a lid or something to trace around, that may actually be better because then um, it doesn't matter if you get Sharpie on it. Well, it depends. Your parents might be mad you get Sharpie on it. It would probably come off with a bit of hand sanitizer. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to carefully Sharpie all of my lines. Okay, when I'm done, pretend I'm all done with the Sharpie and it looks it looks fantastic. When I'm done, I'm gonna start the color parts. Now, um, before I start the color, I'm gonna need to color my sketch worksheet. So I find the one that I picked. You don't need to color all of them. And I'm gonna decide uh, kind of how I want this. Let's hop back to the requirement sheet just for a minute. It says number four, show shading by creating a dark, medium, and light value on at least 50% of the project. Avoid creating separation lines between the two different values. Blending should be smooth. Basically, color in two directions if it's not smooth. So I really have two options for this project, and I created a second option just to give you guys a little bit more variety. Let's see if I can find it here. Okay, so the first option is to do color. So I could pick colored pencils, I could do shading on 50% of it. The other thing you can do is if you wanna do like a black and white with shading with your pencil or a gray colored pencil, that's fine too. So what I did in this particular one is I sharpied the background and then I took a pencil and I created the requirements of dark, medium, and light it's just in sort of a gray scale. So then I would repeat that over and over and over again, and in the back, my project would actually be Sharpie. I guess you could do that with color if you really wanted to, and that would be fine. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna plan where I'm gonna do the dark, medium, and light, and then also where the different colors will go. On some of mine, I made it extremely colorful. Um, you may want to limit your color palette just for um, a different effect, and that's totally fine. Let me show you the ones that I had. So whatever color you pick, it's going to be the same in every single pie piece. So it's important to note that when you are planning this out. So let's say I do that in blue, um, and then let's say I do this in green. So I'm gonna want this sketch worksheet completely planned out before I let you go to your actual coloring on the project. So remember at least half of this project needs to be dark, medium, and light shading. All right, so pretend that I got done with all of this. Pretend I'm done with all of the color requirements on my paper, just so I don't have to have you watch a super, super long video. Okay, so pretend I'm all done with this. It's good, it looks beautiful. All right, then I'm gonna go to my project. And my suggestion to you is color one thing at a time. So let's say, oh, I know this is a different design than the other ones because I made two different examples. Let's say I wanna do all of these background moon shapes first. And I am going to use my blue colored pencil, let's pretend. So what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna color all of these moon shapes in every single pie piece before 
I go on to the next section. And the reason I'm telling you that is because it gets super confusing trying to figure out which color goes where. And so if you do all of the same shapes at once, I feel like there's a less chance you're going to mess up and then you're going to be upset. So then I would go to this one and I would color. And sometimes um, you can change your colors. Like let's say I was going to do purple in the background and after getting this blue down, I figured out, ooh, that's going to be way too dark. That's not going to contrast well. That's okay. I can go ahead and I can change my idea. The sketch worksheet is just for you to get an overall plan. So if I'm getting a lot of streaky lines in my shading, I can color in two directions. Okay, then I would go to this next one, shade the next one in blue. Then I pick my next color. Let's say I am doing pink and I want to shade all the circles pink. I would do that every single circle. Okay, if you have questions about the colors as you go, feel free to ask me and I can give my input. If I was doing like a black Sharpie background, I would get all your shading done first then go through and kind of color that background design. You may even want to mark it so that you get the same thing in every single pie piece. Thanks so much, guys.